this was during the war. And uh, uh, it did give me an opportunity to uh, uh, follow Ted Studebaker around uh, for a week uh, to see the work that he was doing uh, out, uh, up, upland in Vietnam with the Motignard uh, peasants who were somewhat discriminated against and somewhat un un uh, outsiders in that society. And he was doing great work. And, uh, <clears throat> and this was only five or six months before his death, so it was even made more meaningful in terms of uh, having that time of fellowship and, uh, and uh, experience with Ted. I did not get to meet his, uh, his, uh, uh, his wife-to-be there. She was a volunteer from China and out of the country, but uh, when the memorial service was held in uh, Ohio, West Milton Church, uh, she was there and I got to meet her at that time. And we still hear from her. What impressed you about him following around for a week? Well, Ted, uh, you know, there's been a lot of, uh, of um, written and uh, publicized, uh, uh, depicted about Ted, and, uh, and right so, because he is, I think, an example for all of us. Uh, he cannot hear a uh, bridge over troubled waters uh, without uh, hearing Ted's version of that, playing the guitar and singing it. Um, I think he, he demonstrated uh, uh, well, perfectly, the soul of the brethren in terms of uh, uh, his humility, his earnestness, his commitment to the outsider, his willingness to not carry a gun in Vietnam, but to go to Vietnam uh, with a shovel, as uh, we sometimes put it. Um, I think he was the best of what brethren can be, and uh, it was just an honor to uh, be a friend of his. He also was, did not hold back in terms of sharing his, his view and his opinions, am I correct? And some of his, his letters were pretty sharp, they were. Yeah, I think the, uh, the night before his death, he wrote to uh, a critic back home who had taken him to task for something he had written and pu was published in his home paper. And, uh, but, but in the kindest way. I mean, his gentleness, uh, even in the midst of that dispute, was, was just phenomenal. And what, what was his, his relationship with the people he worked with? Did everyone know him? Was he, was he an anomaly in that village? Well, uh, you know, I think his uh, brothers have visited and, uh, and been in touch with some of them since and written a book about it, uh, but I, uh, I didn't meet a lot of those people, so I don't have a first-hand assessment of that. But I think he, he was committed to moving them along agriculturally, but I know that one of the questions he asked in, uh, in uh, introducing some of the techniques is, 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 is this really helpful? You know, he, he uh, I remember visiting the brooder house where the chickens were. I remember the, uh, uh, we flew on a military plane from Saigon up to uh, where the project was. And uh, uh, with a tire for the tractor, but he wondered whether the, the garden tractor was really uh, uh, good for that society. So, you know, he, he was resolute in moving forward, but not without questioning uh, what's helpful, what's, uh, what's the best approach for the people, not uh, what he wanted to share. It was uh, wonderful lessons being with Ted.